first. And then we're gonna decide if we're gonna do the first episode of The Cock Files. The Cock Files. I'm gonna see if we get viewers. I'm wait, are there viewers? I don't know, let's look at the dashboard. Are there viewers? I don't see them yet. If there's no viewers, there's no point. Who am I talking? I'm talking to nobody. We got zero viewers. Got no viewers. Maybe we're on a, such a weird time. It's early in the morning for the West Coast. We got a person in the chat. Oh, we got some people. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Cock Files. Am I lagging? If I'm lagging, I don't know what to say. Shh, nobody's here. Just want to, no, 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 it's no ads today. No ads today. We're doing real shit. We're doing real shit, guys. All right. Do you guys know about Square to Two? Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to start in Python because, you know, everyone knows Python, right? No, no, no. We're not doing Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird is a little, uh, little, uh, you know, a little, uh, Flappy. That's the word I'm looking for. Yes, yes. Cock is, cock is... We love cock um, because cock lets you prove things. So, okay, let's say here's a question, right? Does there exist a P and a Q such that the square root of two, does that work? Right? Oh, you did my driver monitoring challenge. That's good. Um, oh, we got some shit ringing, man. Loves cock. That's true. The cock files. Okay. So we have p divided by q equals the square root of 2. Um, so now we can uh, square these things. I'm just going to square both sides. All right, so we have this question. Is that true? Oh, wow. Guys, I'm forgetting how to use vim because I've been using something else. Um, I'm just typing wrong vim characters. So, so now let's just multiply both sides by q times q. I'm a little sick, too, so, wow, wow, I forget how to use Vim. This is terrible. How do I go to the end of the line in Vim? I don't remember. Wait, I really, I don't remember. Oh, it's a dollar sign, I remember. All right. We'll tell you what we've been using in a minute. We're going to get there. So, um, we have to ask this question, uh, does there exist a P and a Q such that this is true? Um, so you can see, obviously, the P is greater than Q, right? Uh, so if that's, wow, well, okay, it's not right. Obviously, P is greater than Q. All right, we got to remember how to use Vim. Sorry, it's been a while. Um, so we can say while one, uh, you know, P equals one um, for Q in range one comma p, um, uh, p plus one here, and then we ask um, if p times p equals q, q break. Uh, So that's the wrong folder. Over to Twitchcock. So, is this program gonna halt? Is this program gonna halt? Who knows? Who knows if this program halts? You guys know the halting problem? No, I'm not taking a survey. Does this program halt? It hasn't halted yet. Um, let's just sit here and wait for a while. And then we just know that if this program halts, then the square root of 2 is rational. And if this program doesn't halt, then the square root of 2 is irrational. Um, wow, I haven't used Vim in a long time, so I forget how to use it. Using Vim is fun. Okay. 
Yeah, we got a lot of viewers. All right. So, guys, the question, does this program halt, is a great question. Um, I'm just going to go over here in this Tmux. Uh, nope, it didn't halt yet. Uh, uh oh. So, I don't know. Does it halt? Who knows? Let's have it print some numbers out, make sure we're not doing anything too stupid. Um, yeah, I can't type, sorry. Oh, well, okay, there's bugs. So, first we wrote a shitty program with bugs, because nobody can code. And how come nobody caught that? Um... Uh, so uh, we want to say p plus equals 1 here. Okay. Let's see. Who thinks it's going to halt? Not p but q. Where's my mistake? I don't understand. Okay, well... None of these look like the square root of two. Guys, now of course, if you studied basic math, it turns out that the square root of two is of course irrational and this program's never going to halt. But the problem with programs that are never going to halt is, how do you show that? How can you show that a program won't halt? So we can of course search for square root of two is irrational. And there's a basic proof. Everybody who studied this knows Everybody who studied a little bit of math should know this proof. All right? So, of course, this program's never going to halt. But unfortunately, I coded it in Python. Now, how do you prove that a Python program won't halt? Well, you kind of can't. So, that's why we're going to have to code in cock. Welcome to the first episode of The Cock Files. Okay, this will never halt because here's the proof. We're going to prove that this is never going to halt. So, what I've, of course, been using instead of Vim... I'm on no drugs today, guys. Some days I'm on drugs, and I tell you when I'm on drugs. Today, I'm not on drugs. For cock, we use Emacs. So we can use Proof General. The Cock Files, episode one. All right. So remember what we're trying to prove here. P over Q. In this case, we're just going to say is not equal to the square root of 2, right? Because we're trying to prove that it's irrational. So we'll do that same multiplying that I did back then. I'm just squaring both sides. Uh, so I square both sides. And then I'll just multiply out the q's. So we're left with p times p is not equal to q times 4 times q times q. Right? So... I know, I know, you always think I'm on drugs. You know, sometimes I'm on drugs, and I'll tell you when I'm on drugs, but I'm not on drugs. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's being an adult now. We do less drugs than we used to. So, theorem. Square root of 2 is irrational. Uh, a simpler way to state this might just be for all p in nat q in nat um oh okay actually that's the wrong syntax for all p q and nat so for all p's and q's we want to show p times p is not equal to q times q let's go proof okay so here's this statement right here. For all p and q and that, p times p is not equal to 2 times 2. So you guys agree that if I, if I prove that, um, then the square root of 2 is irrational. Do, do we agree? Do we agree that if we can prove this, then the square root of 2 is irrational? Are you guys paying attention to what I'm doing, or are you just talking bullshit? You guys talking bullshit in chat? The halting problem exists for Turing machines with infinite tape, but like this program, 
Okay, fine. Uh, not not run out of memory. Is is this condition ever reached in this program? Is the question. Right. We can't talk about it because it's Python. But we can talk about it in cock. And that's why we're on the cock box. I hate the people who ask why. Where are my moderators? From now on, everyone who asks why gets... That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. So you get a timeout. All right. No, we don't have any weed. Um, we're not in a state with legal weed right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So we'll do intros. So you see what intros did down here. This down here is what we're trying to prove. Um, so let's, so we can do this set printing all, which we'll do, which will like break this stuff out for you. Just like writes it. So remember that the, the way the numbers are actually represented, the natural numbers is with piano arithmetic. So you can see this successor, successor O is actually the two Q and Q. We're doing multiples. So let's unfold the knot here. And you can see that this statement here is equivalent. Well, this statement here is equivalent to the equals implies false. And now we can do an intros equals, and now we get this up in the goals. And what we're trying to show is a contradiction, which is kind of similar to this because we're doing proof by contradiction, right? Um, no, you only get mods if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, I would never even think of making you a mod. Okay. So how does this proof work? Assume the square root of 2 is rational. All right, so we're doing that. We're assuming that this is a true equation. It can be expressed as a rational fraction of the form b over a, where a and b are two relatively prime integers. Okay, so we've, we've effectively done that. Since 2a is even, b squared must be even. And since b squared is even, so must b. Let b equal 2c. And then they, they, they plug that in, and they square both sides. However, two even numbers cannot be relatively prime. So we're not going to use uh, this relatively prime thing. This is actually, I don't know how to express that in cock, but I do know how to express induction. So um, there's this thing called, I think it's well-founded induction. Uh, and with well-founded induction, you can use Fermat's method of infinite descent. And we'll get into what this is in a minute. Um, proved by infinite descent. Okay. Uh, and, and we'll get to when we have to use that in a minute, but let's go a little bit further with this. So first thing we have to prove, we want to show that Q is even. So let's just assert that fact. Nat.even Q. Oh, nat.even isn't like that. Um, nat.even Q has type bool. So assert nat even q equals true. Okay, so we want to show that that's, yeah, well, no, actually, I think it's easier first to show that p is even. Okay, so how can we show that p is even? Well, first, oh, this stuff's hard. This stuff's hard, okay. Let's first prove that that's true. That seems pretty obvious, right? So we can rewrite uh, to the left of EQ, which is just going to change that into that. Um, it's simple. That's bullshit. Um, have we assumed that root 2 is rational? Well, yeah, I mean, we kind of did that here, right? So we, we assumed it was, we, we did this unfold not is our proof by contradiction. Um, but now we're trying to prove that. All right. Um, maybe let's just, uh, we can obviously do that, right? Useless. Useless. Okay, so this should be an obvious fact to prove, right? Because you see why it's even, right? It has a two times in it. Uh, let's try that. Let's try it up here. Okay, useless. So now we get to the glories of reading the Cox Standard Library. 
So let's load up Sublime here, and I actually already have the Cock Standard Library up because I've been playing with Cock for other various things. Oh God. It's lag? No! How does it lag? Ugh. Unbelievable. If I paid money for this, I'd be upset. All right. Oh, I think that I lost the chat, too. I have the chat. Okay, buddy. I have the chat here on my phone. Okay. So let's look through here. Uh, not that. That's not what I want to do. I want to do here. Find even. Let's look for even. Um, I read even. I don't actually think this is the same even. So we can check nat.even. It tells me, okay. So it's a function which maps, it, maps a nap nat to a bool. But there's also this capital even. So can, I can't use that? Maybe we have to import even. Let's require import arith.even. The reference even was not. Ugh. All right, let's go on the web. Cock even. Cock arith even. using inductive definitions of even. Okay, so well, we don't really need equals true there. So, okay, we're just trying to prove that that's even. We'll do the rewrite there. Now, okay, it's inductive. Well, I think well, we're gonna see what's easier. Um, so this one has to be equal true because that's a Boolean predicate. Uh, so you see in this assert where we're just working on this this sub goal here. The proof is focused, but it cannot be unfocused this way, yes, because I did not finish proving it. Um, unfold nat.even. Oh, that's pretty good. Of course, it turned it into this stupid crap. Okay, let's start with a lemma. Lemma. X times two, or two times, uh, X, two times X, or X times two is even. For all X in that, oh, now I'm using Vim shortcuts. Um, X, okay, nat dot even, Two times x equals equals true. Okay, you guys all believe that statement, right? You guys believe that two times something is even, right? Uh, intros unfold nat dot even. Plus x plus zero. Omega? No, omega's not. Oh, I have to import omega. So omega is this like magical cock thing that uses Presburger arithmetic. Cock dot omega. Omega. We love omega, guys. We definitely are going to need some omega. Require import omega. Remember the omega 13 from Star Trek Voyager? Omega. Omega can't solve this system. So unfortunately, Omega is not going to help us out here. But, okay. So where are we? Well, I know a way we can prove this. Can't we prove this by like induction or something? I don't know. Let's try induction on X. Okay. So first we have to show that zero is even, and that's true. So when, whenever you have true equals true, you can just use reflexivity. That seems, ooh, this seems good. All oh, this seems good, guys. Okay, and we have to get rid of these stupid plus zeros. 
And right, let's actually call it two times x is even. Okay, so I think we can find the proof, or we could actually just prove it. Obviously, like x plus zero is just x. There's ways to like search for this stuff properly in cock, but you know, I'm not that good at cock. I'm much better at Python. Who misses Python? Okay. So we have to find, it's just something that says like n plus zero or something. Yeah, here we go. Add zero r. So I think I can just say apply, oh no, I wanna do rewrite nat dot add zero r. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. We got the right shit. All right, I'm gonna rewrite it in IHX. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, guys, take a look. Who's excited about this? Yeah, I know, right? It doesn't look anything like Python, it's cock. Um, okay, so you can see here that if nat even is true, nat even of the successors is true. So maybe we want to destruct nat even. Uh, no, I think that's right. I think we want to do that. Unfold nat even. Yeah, this seems good. Okay, um, let's try simplify. Oh, well, this did something. I don't even know about that. No, 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 this isn't what we want. We really want to get the successors together. Um, Okay. So we can replace SX plus SX with SSX plus X. Oh, who's excited about this? I think that's right. Okay, cool. Now, simple. Uh, apply the induction hypothesis. You guys remember your induction, right? So we'll just let me break this out like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, we finished that goal. Now we just have to show this. Apply nat.add commutative. Mm, rewrite. Oh, that's crappy. Uh, we want to do symmetry, which should flip those things. Rewrite, no. Okay, useless. Well, it's very clearly true, right? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, now, aha. Okay, we want to do simplify. Then we want to apply nat.add commutative, or rewrite. But we want to, okay. I mean, we can rewrite this like this, I think. There we go, and now we simplify that, and now we just do reflexivity. Oh yeah, okay, so we just proved two times x is even. Congratulations, guys. We're math geniuses here. So to be clear about what we proved, we proved that everything two times x is even. So now we can come back to this one. Um, before we do the simplify, we can just say apply two times x is the or if, uh, Well, that's because of shitty commutative stuff. Um, we, can, we can put the times two over here. It's the same thing. No, but that didn't even help us. We have to put parentheses around these. Uh, so multiplication is associative, so that's the rule, right? Remember, who remembers your associative commutatives and your transitives? Come on, guys. Who remembers? Who remembers algebras? All right, so let's rewrite this with nat.mult a sock. Um, mol a sock. 
No, okay, we want to do the other thing. Aha! Now the, the Q's are in parentheses, so now we can apply that. Okay. Great, 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 great. Okay. Just, just delete that. Okay. Now we have a new goal that says nat even p times p equals true. So let's make another lemma. Uh, nat, okay, so we're going to say square of square even is even for all x and nat, uh, x times x, no, nat dot even x times x uh, implies nat dot even x. Do we believe that? Um, equals true implies nat dot even nat x equals true. Type bool. Well, let's expect it to have type nat. Um, oh, I think I just got to put that in parentheses, actually. Okay. Do we believe that statement, guys? Who, who believes that statement? <laughs> who believes that statement? Do you guys believe it? Believe? Who believes? Is my chat broken? Oh, I'm watching myself. Oh, this is stupid. The cot files. Is my chat broken? Oh. You believe? Oh, good. Anybody, anybody who talks about the statement's not true. You don't believe it. Why not? Can anyone come up with a counterexample? If a number, yeah. So an even times an even equals an even, right? Because where you get not even shit out of that. An even times an odd. It's also even. Lots of shit's even, man. No, I didn't ask if the audio and video were broken. I asked if you guys believe this. All right, let's try it. It's, it's got to be true. It seems pretty true to me. Well, I think we can prove it. So let's do intros. Um, okay. So we have this statement, and we're trying to prove this statement. Let's use our favorite tactic of induction. Okay, well, everyone kind of already just knows that, so we can just simple and then reflexivity. In fact, we don't even need that simple. Reflexivity does a simple. Reflexivity is just when you have, like, x equals x, and that's just the reflexive equal property. Okay. So, oh, this is useless. This is just not true. Is it laggy? Okay, we're lowering the bit rate. Bitrage going down. X equals 2 times Y. Yeah. So that's actually, that's a good point. If nat even X is true, and I think we're going to need this proof anyway, then that means there exists a K. So lemma um, even exists. So let's just let's just write this now. For all x nat, nat even x implies uh, exists k such that 2 times k equals x, right? Mm, equals true. Um, so I think there's actually a neat way. I think there's like almost a standard library function which just does this. Um, Yeah. 
Yeah, so we can just this even a quiv. Require import even. Anybody who's shilling for their shitty startup, get the hell out of my chat. Nobody wants you here. Don't shill for your startup in my chat. Let's apply even a quiv. Uh, in H. Hmm, this is useless. Equivalence with predicate nat dot even. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of these end trues and let's just change it to this. I think this is fine. I mean, it's, it's just less to write. It's It's a predicate instead of a boolean. Just cleaning up the code a little. Uh, I think this works the same. Oh no, it doesn't work the same. Okay, never mind. Take it all back. Take it all back. Take it all back. Where's the constructor for nat.even? What's oh, that stupid? Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, this just has facts about even. Real even facts, man. Off. Oh, this stuff's cool. Does this have even? Oh, here we go. Look, look at the definition of even right here. So if we can get it to be that even. Ah, even spec is what we want to use. Okay. So let's apply nat.even spec in H. Oh, yes. And now we have nat even. And now we can unfold nat.even. No, that's not what we want. But I thought nat.even was exactly what we wanted. Definition, even n, means there exists an m. Is that that even? Let's get rid of this. I don't want that. Oh, did I just not do unfold nat.even in h? Aha, boom. Boom, okay. Destruct h exists x0 and now I just do symmetry and uh, apply h. Boom! We've just proved even means there exists some shit. That's good. QED! Thank you for the bits! Okay, so let's go back to where we were, trying to prove this shit by induction. But I think we did stupid induction here. I think actually before we do the induction, we want to uh, apply even exists in H. Yes, destruct H. Okay. So now, 2 times x0 equals x times x. Okay, this might uh, still might not even be what we want. But I think even exists is going to be useful anyway later. We're going to need it later. 
Um, okay. Let's go back to induction on x. Net. Did I even write this the right way? Or did I write it backwards? If nat even of the square is true, but this is never true. You see the problem? This isn't correct because this isn't even because we just took the successor to it. You see the problem? Who sees the problem? Are people complaining about the stream quality more? I dropped so much frames. Where'd my frames go? This is pathetically bad. Should we try to find an ethernet, like a wire? Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, look what I found. Just pulled it right out. Sword from the stone kind of shit. I got right here, too. All right, let's try this. Maybe this is going to fix the stream. Now we got a little Ethernet doohickey here. I'm going to plug this guy in. Oh, is this going to this need a driver? Probably needs a driver. Hey, driver. Mm. No, it didn't show up. Oh. This needs a driver. God. Okay, I found the driver. Oh, it has a 1.4 megabyte installation guide. And then a short... It's going to make me reboot, guys. It's going to make me reboot. I know it already. I know it already. Please don't make me reboot. Please, please no reboots. Oh... Should we do it? For the love of the stream, should we do it? Let's save this file. No, no, we're gonna die. You don't have these extensions signed, what? Allow, great, great. I just put sketchy shit into my kernel. Okay, all right, we're rebooting, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're rebooting. I'm going to go back to this episode, episode one of The Cock Files. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going. All right, we're, we're, we're rebooting. Well, yeah, all right. No, we're less than a minute, guys. Oh, less than a minute. Who's excited? Who's, who's excited? Oh, my God. This is taking forever. Let's well, got to update the pre-boot volume. Uh, do we have any other Ethernet adapters? Let me look around. Nope. No other Ethernet adapters. Only that one. Oh, oh, finished. Oh, wow. Wow, who's excited? All right, restart. Uh, sure, move to trash. Yeah, no, we need the X-Files soundboard. All right, we'll get that up. We'll get that up. Uh, OBS is currently active. Vol why did it name my computer something stupid? New host two? Who 
What? Didn't name my computer something stupid now. I'm deeply upset about this. Okay, whatever. You know, you can't win everything. All right, is it not laggy anymore, guys? Can we put the bandwidth back up? Put the bandwidth back up. This computer, this should be a really good internet. It's, it's like good internet. It's not, there's no shit. All right, so where are we? Let's go back into Emacs here and let's look at cock. Oh, guys, it's going to get hard from here. This is the easy stuff. Oh, wait till we have to do well-formed induction. Oh, I don't know if we can do that. That's all going to be hard. Okay, sublime. Got the cock up here. All right. So we were trying to prove that square even is even, but we were deeply upset here. The stream is much better now. Who wants to see my SpaceX sweatshirt? I don't know where it went. It's gone. Can't see the SpaceX sweatshirt because it's gone. All right. So this, unfortunately, doesn't look like something we can prove. Because I don't think it's true. Like... We need double successor here. Well, okay, so let's apply even exists. Uh, wait, huh? Are you right? Even exists. Oh no, this doesn't work. I'd have to. Okay, if I wanted to do that, I can only I can only apply it in H because it's an implies, right? K equals X times X. That's useless. Uh, I know what we have to do. Let's try apply nat even spec. And then unfold nat even. Aha! Okay, that's better. Okay. Um... Induction M? No, this doesn't work. Hmm. Ban! Ban him! Where are weird ass people trying to text me? I don't know. All right. Where were we? There exists an M and Nat such that. Okay, so the problem with exists is like. Like, that's not right. So this might not even be what we want. Hmm. You know what? What if we just try to prove this? This might actually be easier. And that's actually more generic. Do you see what I mean? Right, because if it's an odd number squared, it's gonna be odd, right? Like seven and 49. And this one we can do induction on without it being bullshit. Okay, so simple, reflexive. Oh, what up? Um, this looks better. Omega? Oh, sometimes Omega just works. Guys, Omega's really good. Aha! Okay. All right. I know how to prove this. Think about it. This is equivalent. Well, you know what? Let's forget just saying it's equivalent. Let's actually do it. Replace s times x, s times x, with, this is the same as x times x, plus 2 times x, plus 1, right? Um, we can actually just go right to the second sub goal and work on that one. Yeah, this looks true. We can probably just omega that. 
Stupid Omega. Omega should be able to solve that. I mean, what, what, what this is effectively doing... Oh, wait, no, this isn't... Okay. Well, Omega can't solve it because I actually wrote it wrong. So SX times SX is the same as saying X plus 1 times X plus 1, right? So we know I did write it right. Because that equals X times X plus 2 times X plus 1. All right? Mm. OMG, this is not smart what you're doing. I'm leaving. All right, bye-bye, Brick9. If you're a subscriber, I might listen, but... No, Omega doesn't work. Who's upset about Omega? I'm upset about Omega. Yeah, it's mundane. All right. All right. The non-subscribers. You guys killed it for everybody. Uh, congratulations. Uh, right, that's it. That's it. No more cockfiles. Uh, I was like, should I stream today? I don't know. Um, no, you know what? No, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of done with Twitch. I'm kind of done with Twitch. No, 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 no. Like, oh, one, okay, a couple, something has to happen. The, the level of the discourse in this chat is extremely low. Um, it's stupid. Yeah, I mean, we might have to go to a private stream. You know what? Subscribers only. Everybody else get fucked. Can I do subscribers only? Uh, yeah, 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 but they don't subscribe. So you know what? We're switching to subscribers only. I don't know. I don't know if I can figure out how to use Twitch enough to do that. Preferences. No. Count. Uh, uh, too difficult. Um, oh, I guess I could switch chat. No, guys, you know, I just fuck around when I say, like, I'm poor and I need you to subscribe. I really don't need your $60 from Twitch. It's just a funny character to play on the internet. You know, like here, we were gonna do something. We were gonna do something fun. We were, you know, we were we were, we were trying to prove something. Uh, we were trying to we were trying to prove the square root of two is irrational. It's really a very simple proof, you know. Like you, you can look at the proof; it's really short. Um, but no, I don't know what this bullshit is, but. Square root two irrational. Ah, yes. Um, no, but no, it's just no. It's not. Look, it's not about you guys valuing me, right? Like, I'm not. I'm not saying like you guys should appreciate me more. That's not what I'm looking for at all. Like, I'm looking for the level of of discourse to to be a bit higher. Um, no, like, like, if you guys, like, this is, like, basic shit. Like, look at what I'm writing here. I'm writing literally eighth grade algebra. No, no, I don't need to be more engaged with the viewers. If you guys aren't going to watch this for what it is, then I'm just not going to do this anymore. Like, this is bullshit. I'm rich too. I don't care. I just fuck around. Um, I would love. I would love. This is basic shit. I would love to see you try to do it. I would love to see you try. I would love to see. Go go download Cock. It's open source. It's free. Um, and try to prove that the square root of two is irrational. It's eighth grade math, guys. This is 8th grade algebra. Wait till you try to prove that there's an infinite number of primes. That one's a lot harder.
no, no. Ban that guy. Ban the PS4 guy. Ban him. Can we ban him? Where are the, where are the mods? Can we ban him? This one should work with Omega, right? That's literally the definition of successor. I don't understand. Okay, I think I can actually just find... something that just states that right it's almost like the definition of that's the definition of plus isn't it or maybe it's just because is it really that it's literally reflexive now Um, now, who remembers the distributive rule? We gotta use the distributive property. I don't know. I honestly, I hope the people on YouTube are a lot better than, than, than some of you guys, you know? Like, I hope the people who watch this stuff later on YouTube. No, I don't care about what license it's distributed under. All right, so those are, those are Boolean things. No. Here. This mull add distributive R. Uh, rewrite. Uh, we're gonna do nat dot. All right, so now we've applied the distributive property. Um, I don't even know what that means. But okay, so let's apply the distributive property, uh, the left distributive property as well. Okay. Um, let's rewrite with add associative. And now those x times 1s can go away. Can omega? Omega? No omega. You guys haven't seen the magic of omega yet. I thought about doing advent of code. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel like it. So where's the rule that says times one? We learn this useless crap, okay? We do it because it's useless. If it was useful or flashy, we wouldn't do it. And if you don't like what we're streaming, fuck off and leave the stream. That's right. Okay, so we want to find stuff about mole one. Um... Because all of this is just like one times anything is just. Um, okay. So let's. Well, this doesn't look easy to prove. Napoleon solo night. Can someone ban that guy? He pisses me off. Mole 
malt. This. Rewrite nat times repeat rewrite. There we go. Cool. Okay. Um There's a few ways we can go from this. We, we can make it Boolean. I, I think what we probably want to show now, uh, we can do it as an assertion or we can do it as a lemma. We, we want to write a lemma basically that says uh, even is XOR, right? For all X, Y, and Nat, Nat even X plus Y equals, what is it X or B, Nat even X, not even y and is it xor or is it not xor it might be not xor hang on so like two plus two would be one xor so that'd be true those two would be true so it's not xor b and not b xor b right let's do that It is not B, isn't it? Not? B not? Bool dot not B? Uh, maybe we want to require bool. Oh, neg B. It's neg B. That's right. Okay. So, you know what, let's just assume that we've already proven that. We'll come back and we'll fill that in later. Admit it. Um, so we can apply even as XOR down here. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to use the associative property. go repeat rewrite even as XOR maybe even oh cool all right so aha now now we're getting somewhere guys um so we know neg even is one we know that's false oh, i hate when it does that and we can repeat, rewrite. We can rewrite, rewrite using the induction hypothesis, right? So let's write to that side of the induction hypothesis. Um, now, when you have XOR of two things that are identical, well, it's not even really what we want, but we'll get there in a minute. Is simple going to work here? Okay, whenever you have let's 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 bring up the facts about XOR. 
Uh, so we know that this is actually false. Um, replace not even one with false. Um, that's trivially true. It's bool here. What? Oh, we right? Okay, cool. So we got rid of that. Now I think we have something about XOR with itself. Yes, XOR nil potent. Um, if I simple that, okay, fine. Uh, I don't, I don't like that it does that match thing. Replace neg b false. What's the neg of false? It's true, and that's trivial. Um, and now we want to apply the XOR true right. Uh, bool dot. Okay. And now there's a rule about the negs canceling out. Neg be involutive. Um, we can rewrite using the induction hypothesis too. Okay, now we're left with a pretty straightforward fact. All right, so the negative of a number is the, all right, so now let's just do induction on x. Um, simple flexivity. Wait, what? Stupid rules. I think I can just destruct X. I think it's even easier than that. I don't need the induction hypothesis anymore. Okay, we just have to prove this now. This didn't help at all. No, okay, we definitely do need induction. But we need we can clear the old induction hypothesis. Yeah, this is right. Uh Even. Well, so how do I use the definition of even to show this? This does seem kind of roundabout. Yeah, there probably should be a faster way to do this, right? Let's, okay, all right. You want to try to just use the definition of even? Let's try it. Try it on both, and we actually only need an implies here. I mean, we had it, but it was it was complicated. You're right. So we could try something simpler. Uh, 
No, well, we were close, so let's just leave this one for now. And let's try... let's try a simpler one. Really, we need the implies. We don't need the equals. No, but you see the problem again? We're left with this. So what, what do we show there? The, the problem, we, we can't... Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe, maybe we can do this again. This is, uh, let's destruct H. Explain to me what I do here. No, we're all past, we're way past that. Um, like I have to find an M that that exists for. And I'm not really sure how to do that. It's easier if I was proving it the other way. The other way is trivial, right? To show that a, a number, like then I could just plug in what it is, but I don't know what I do here. There probably is a simpler way to do this, but like I'm trying to use the definition of even, and that's what I have. Um, by the way, thank you for actually contributing something useful. Um, unlike 90% of the garbage chat. It, it, does, it, does seem, it does seem like I'm writing like way too much code just to show that the square of an even number is even. Um... A lot more people need to be banned. Oh, wait, okay. So our first, first thing we can do here is we can rewrite this way using the induction hypothesis. And then we can do neg b involutive. Okay, now we're left with that. That should be easy. Perfect. Okay. There's the proof. Like, this code is garbage, but it kind of doesn't matter. Because it's not like, like it has like performance issues or anything. We're just proving that it's correct. And this is a correct proof. Cock won't allow anything to be not uh, correct. Now, the chat's just garbage. You know, you guys want to ruin your own chat? Like, that's fine. Okay. So now let's assert nat.even p equals true. And we can just apply square even is even to hypothesis. Oh, now we're going to rewrite because I did the equality. We don't need the parentheses here. Okay, cool. So now we've shown that P is even. But now we can apply um, even exists times two. I think, is that what I called it? 
no. Even exists. Uh, apply even exists in age zero. Cool. Now I can destruct age zero. Um, well, actually, I want to destruct age zero as uh, we'll call it P prime. Now, we can rewrite EQ uh, Jimmy Bullard, you're a mod. Let me figure out how to make you a mod. Congratulations. And you knew the even, so congratulations, you're a mod too. Enjoy your moderators. Even though you're not a subscriber, you said something intelligent. So congratulations, you're a moderator. Rewrite HP Prime in EQ. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, now we want to rewrite to this way, and let's do repeat. I already did repeat, that's weird. Cool. Okay. Um, well, so we can just replace this with we just want to say it's 2 times p prime times p prime equals q times q, right? Like you see why that's true in EQ. Um, let's do the second sub goal first so we don't forget. That should just be omega. Okay, omega is really the most useless garbage. You see why it's annoying? Because I'm trying to prove that equality. I don't know what equality of equality even means. Oh, why can't Omega prove this? Sock. And then Omega? Use this Omega. Um. Okay, let's just try asserting this fact. That might work better. Omega? You see why that's true, right? You just cancel the twos out. Thorkmoy, you've been around a while. Aren't you a mod? Mod. Ban more people. Right, that um, rewrite nat.molcom in EQ. No, that's not what I wanted. Can Omega solve this yet? Stupid Omega. Do I, do I really have to assert this stupid fact?
lemma. Cancel two. For all x in that. For all x, y in that. Two times x equals two times y implies x equals y. Can Omega solve this? Come on, Omega. Oh, Omega did something. Look at that one. Finally, Omega did something. Proved we can cancel twos. All right, so I can go down here now. I won't even need this. I don't even need the assertion. I think I can just make it work. Apply, cancel to in EQ. Oh. Well. That broke something. Stupid uh, garbage. Aha, huh, that's what I want. Now we can apply cancel to any Q. Gotta get your parentheses correct. Okay, cool. The two's are canceled out. Thank you for subscribing. Um Well, alright. So now what we want to do is we want to do the whole thing again for Q. We want to do the other thing. Um, there we go. Perfect. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Okay. So now we're, we've gotten to the point in the proof where we can assert that... Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Well, you know what? Let's just go big here. Um, that's not going to help me. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Because we're gonna we're gonna basically copy and paste that same proof that and we're gonna use it for Q.
the fuck is ableist language? You're not a moderator anymore. I don't know what that is. You're unmodded. I don't know what the hell that is. But everybody's banned who asks stupid questions. No, Whitey Cracker, you can't be a mod. How many people are watching this bullshit? 146, huh? Not bad. Yeah, you gotta be authoritarian these days. Otherwise, everything goes to shit. Okay, let's assert nat.even. Wait, what happened to my good old fact here? Oh, I broke it down into even exists. Mm. Let's clear H. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, cool. So that's what we're left with. We actually also want to assert like something like NEQ, ZQ or something. So we can keep it around. Just do keep prime. So we can keep EQ around when we destroy it. Cool. Oh, we actually have to say one other little thing in this proof. If Q is not equal to zero, then that's true. All right. Um, if we forget to say that, Same shit here. Rewrite. That side of EQ. Apply. Uh, two times X is even. Oh, we have to write rewrite nat mod in all sock as well. Assert net even Q. That's true. Um, it's the same proof as up here, right? So rewrite square even is even in H and then apply H. Sorry, I don't know Emacs well enough to copy and paste. Okay, now apply even exists in H0. Um, destruct H0 as Q prime H Q prime. Cool. Rewrite H Q prime Q. No, because we have to rewrite the other way. Perfect. All right, now we just got to do all that commie shit again. I think I do know how to actually copy and paste. It's this, Y. Uh, okay, well, that's great. Y even exists in H0, so. Getting rid of that. Rewrite nat mol comedy q um symmetry thank you wait did it cancel to not work no it did okay simple um that's what I want okay cool okay mm, let's just do symmetry and eq again so I'm left with the real facts I want. Okay.
Do you see what we've proven now? Um, so interesting, we can make another assertion here too. Q is greater than Q prime. Whoops. I don't need any of this crap anymore, right? Um, and this one can just omega. Cool. So what are we proving, guys? Uh, we can actually clear HP and HPQ. We don't need those anymore. That's it. That should be enough. Because look at what we've proven. Who knows what we do next? I told you what it was before. If nobody remembers, we'll just we'll just call it off here. I, do I still have any admit, admitteds in here? If I have admitteds. Let's go back. Okay, yeah, we gotta actually prove this one. Yeah, we, we we ditched the proof of even as XOR, so let's prove that one. Um. Who knows how to prove this? Maybe some kind of induction. Induction on X. Maybe if not even Y. Omega? Look at what's written there. It's obviously true. That's bullshit. Let's just admit for now. Okay. What stupid matches, isn't it? Um, all right, can someone else prove that one? That one should be easy enough someone else can prove. I wish this one worked. And then this, you guys know what we have to do here. Thank you, Dorkmo, for being a mod. Apply the definition of evenness here. Can I apply the definition of evenness there? Is that is that a real solution? I don't think so. The problem is with the definition of evenness. If I just try to apply the definition of evenness, Suppose x is even, then there exists... Okay, suppose x is even, then there exists y such that 2y equals x. Now x plus 1 equals 2y plus 1, hence x plus 1 is odd. Well, that's an easy thing to prove. Napoleon Solo... Nobody's looking for honest feedback here. Banned! It's not that nobody's looking for honest feedback. It's not that one thing he said. He's just been saying bullshit all night. I 
Um, suppose X is even, hence. Wait. This one is odd. No, I mean that doesn't that doesn't solve all the cases. Um I mean this one, I, I don't know what to do about this one. What is, like if, there should be a way I can just do like case of not even y. Is that gonna work? There's only two cases, right? Ah, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Wow, that actually just did exactly what I wanted. Um, I can just do... If I just do semicolon reflexivity here. Okay, who knows what that syntax does? So, the case breaks it down. And then I could, for each bullet point, right? Reflexivity and reflexivity. I write it for this bullet point as well. But... I can just do semicolon and that'll apply it to all sub goals. So that's pretty nice. And then we don't need to do an admit there anymore. And this one's a little bit harder. Did I did I write the theorem? No, I didn't write the theorem. Do I need that as a theorem? We could say lemma even next even next even is odd, which says for all x and nat, nat dot even x equals neg b nat dot even x, uh, success rate x, right? All right, I know you guys are excited. Like, you can't really use the definition of even here because you have to prove it for odd as well. So let's, we'll try that case thing again. I think it might work. No, no, this one needs induction. Reflexivity now. Yes. QED. Okay, cool. We proved that. Uh, oh, no, that was just part of it. Now we have to apply that down here. Oh, and we actually... What we really want to show is this. It's the same thing, but it's just written a little differently. Oh. Well. Like, we really want to take the neg of both sides, you know what I'm saying? Or... 
I mean, we had a proof for this. This is not exactly what I want. So you can't just apply it here. Well, maybe I can apply it in the other case. Ugh, I hate when the symbols. Um, yeah, well. And we can apply it in the induction hypothesis. Which is a little bit more annoying. Uh, rewrite next day when it's odd. The induction hypothesis. Yeah, okay, now we have that. And then we write next to even as odd an induction hypothesis. But let's make sure it does the right one. No, 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 not that. Not that. Uh, next to even as odd of nat even x. Oh, just x, right? There we go. Cool. So now we just have to figure out how to distribute out those negs. What I'd really like to do is cancel the neg B's from both sides. I mean, that should be easy to do, right? Neg B and B, neg B involutive, neg B symmetry, no fixed point neg B. Oh, should just be able to do that, right? Dot. Uh, should work, right? If B equals neg B, B, all right, I have to copy and paste all this garbage. Tactic generated a sub goal identical to the original goal. Oh, did I put the wrong one in places? Yeah, it is. It's De Morgan's law, isn't it? Kind of, right? No, it's not De Morgan because there's no or. It's XOR. Okay, I just want to cancel out the neg B's. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll just write a stupid lemma. Cancel neg B. Uh, for all A, B, and bool. This is bool, right? Uh, neg B, A equals neg B, B implies A equals B, right? Unable to unify false with true. Um. <laughs> well, let's just first make sure it's what we want.
Okay, good. Okay. Now we can distribute that. Apply nat dot add. Uh, no, it's a sock in IHX. Is that right? We just want to distribute that successor. Yeah, let's just add success L. Um, we can just apply that in the main thing. What? Is it right? Now we can rewrite to the left side of the induction hypothesis. Aha, okay. Now we'll just have to show that those are equal. Then we're done with the induction hypothesis. Okay, so we're left with that. Um, so this turns out to be useful, so let's prove it. Make sure I didn't do anything stupid. Okay, we have neg A equals neg B. We want to show that A equals B. You think this stuff should be trivial? Not not A equals A. That's true. Um, in lean, Booleans are not used. Yeah, so you can do this all with propositions as well. It's, it's, it's like the same. I don't know. Um, the, you, the, the, the Booleans and the propositions can just be put in a perfect correspondence. Not not a definitely equals a. So I, I don't know how to use that here though. Um, it's not case. Oh, maybe just struck neg b. No. Well, how do you apply neg to both sides? That's what I don't know how to do. If I knew how to apply neg to both sides, this would be a great, great thing. this neg b equals true in the current goal case a oh let's try this no so we want to do symmetry oh okay Wait, no. Case A reflexive. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can replace the implies with not or. Well, I mean, that's effectively what it's already done. Oh, look at this if neg b. Wait, that was the whole thing we were even trying to show here. Oh, no, I think I already got around that. Never mind. What's this no fixed point neg b? Didn't like that. 
apply? Or I shouldn't just be guessing at things. This should be a very obvious thing to prove. Neg A, I, I, let's try this Neg B sim. Well, let's see what destruct bool means. Discriminate. Destruct A. Oh, okay, I can just destruct A. Okay, 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 this is easier. Yeah, 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 yeah this makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. Shown false equals neg B. True equals B. Uh, apply not true is false. Not false is true. Symmetry. Aha, okay. Now I can do intros. There was probably a much quicker way to prove this. Now I can rewrite H with EQ or rewrite EQ in H. Um, <laughs> simple in H, false equals true, apply H. Actually, maybe these ones can just be omega. No, omega sucks. Omega? No. Omega? Omega sucks. All right, never mind. We're so close. We've proven that false equals true, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, what if I destruct on B here is what you're saying? Before even simple. I think you're right. Who said that? Well, I don't think I can destruct on B instead of A. I think I just have to destruct on B as well. Ah, okay, now reflexivity. Contradict. Okay, 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 okay. You might think this is bad. Apply H. Oh, yeah. All right, we're getting somewhere now. All right, we'll destruct on B. Uh, simple in H. Symmetry apply H. And this one is just true. Oh, we did it. Oh, yeah, good job. Destruct B guy, you were a bro. Well, it doesn't matter that false is not true. As long as you've shown, as long as your hypothesis says false is true, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Where were we now? Oh, we have to factor out the neg B in XOR, but that should just be an obvious fact about XOR. See you, Whitey Cracker. Thanks for coming. Ah, uh, yeah, it's this guy here. Apply bool. Oh, well. Rewrite bool dot neg B XOR B. Reflexivity. Okay. All right, we don't need this proof. Let's save this. All right, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. We're up to 3K of code. We're doing it. Who's doing it? We're doing it. Okay. So I believe we have no more admitteds anywhere. That's good. Now we're here. Who knows 
about infinite descent. Who sees why? Cocked written in O Camel, yeah. Who sees why this is true? What this basically proves is given this, there exists this such that this. Now we're going to have to try to do some magic. So let's put this in a simpler proof first. Theorem. Square root 2 infinite descent. Uh, so let's, let's go over what infinite descent is first. This is just a common. There we go. A proof by infinite descent is a particular kind of proof by contradiction that relies on the least integer principle. So basically it's this. Um, there's also, I believe, well, let's check this in Python quickly. I believe you can actually write the square root of two as like, it's like one over two plus one over two, right? Plus, right? Like you can do this. Yeah, we're trying to prove that the square root of two is irrational. So for all p, q, and nat, where q is not equal to zero, there exists, if there exists this, that implies that there exists a p prime and a q prime, let's call them p, p, and q, q, in that, such that pp times pp equals q uh, and qq is less than q. Who believes it? Well, that same proof should apply. And then at the bottom here, we just say exists P and Q. Well, exists P, exists Q. Split. Leave those there for now. Apply EQ Omega. Okay. So let's check out the type of that. So for all PQ and NAT, where Q is not equal to Q is not equal to zero, implies that P times P. Uh, basically, if both of these things are true, I think we could just write that as an end. Then there exists a lesser solution. But what's the problem with that? Okay. So now we have to figure out how to do well-formed induction in cock, which I don't really know if this is even possible. But we can bring our little proof down here. Uh, to W. 
Emacs is unusable. Okay. So we have managed to prove that fact. So to use that fact here, we can just say like intros p, q, q, and z uh, unfold not uh, intros eq. Now we can apply square root two infinite descent um, or I don't even know how to do this actually. What is it? Generalize? Yeah, it's this. Specialize PQ or intros. Yeah. And then specialize HPQ. There you go. Apply H in Q and Z. Destruct Q and Z. Destruct HCL. Okay. Destruct HCL. Look what we've proven, guys. Nothing, because we have to do infinite descent on this, and none of this stuff is remotely infinite. Ugh. So we okay. We're effectively back where we were with that proof, but we can show that, that applies infinitely many times. Um. Okay. So let's see, well-founded induction in cock. I think we're going to have to... Oh, here we go. Ah, this doesn't look too bad. Okay. Let's just try it. Apply well-founded induction on Do we have that? We do. Oh, we have to first show that it's well-founded. That's not that type. We need to define the relation. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Coex FPS, thank you for subscribing. Hmm. Okay, so we can. Uh, at least I think I see how to prove it's well-founded. So you see the type here? So we could say something like definition uh, LT nat P Q in nat P is less than Q. Mm. I'm going to find a function in Cox. Is that not right? Friends. Oh, it's this. The reference P was not found in the current environment. Um. Oh, I think it's like this, maybe. How do I find a function? Oh, here. Here's some functions. Oh, I just don't need that. Okay, cool. 
So now what we want to show is that less than is well founded. And actually, to use the proper terms, we really just want to say that this is Q and Q prime. Yeah, I know, I'm using Emacs, guys. You know, there's really something wrong with you when you've switched to Emacs. Uh... Okay. Theorem. LT is well-founded. And the theorem states... Just well-founded LT nat? Is that right? Okay, now how we prove this, I don't know. Okay, once we show the relation is well-founded, let's just unfold well-founded. I don't know about that. All right, let's see where these things are defined in the standard library. Oh. It looks like they're almost always already proving it for me. Less than is already well founded. Apply. Wait, it's literally the same name as mine, too. Heh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Let's try to prove it. I don't know what ACK means. Induction on A. Symbol, come on. Intros. Okay, let's just assume we can prove it well-founded. So we have my function, it takes in two things. For all propositions about that type, oh, oh, but it only has one type. Oh, this sucks. Okay. One way to fix this is to do nat cross nat. Do second here, all right? It's going to be even harder. Okay, well, I don't know how we're going to prove that well-founded yet, but... Let's just, just say, okay. Oh, but the function doesn't have that. All right, let's, let's, you know what, let's just prove the induction we want to prove. Theorem. Infinite descent. For all, P, Q, and Nat, um, we want to say, uh, okay, no, we got to say something about prop, too. For all F and prop, Look at well-founded induction. Let's see that. Is he complaining about that? Mm. 
Draw P and prop. Draw P, Q, and Nat. Uh, that's not right. Uh oh. Okay. For all PQ and Nat, if say F F P Q implies for all there exists P prime Q prime Nat, or I think I call them P P and Q Q, such that F P P P Q Q implies and Q Q is less than Q implies false. I believe that's infinite descent, right? Uh, oh, for all f in uh, nat nat prop. Cool. Okay, so forget trying to apply well found induction right there. Let's just apply uh, apply infinite descent to square root two infinite descent. We'll come back to all that crap later. But that is, I, I did do that right, right? Yeah, for all there exists implies false. Enjoy reversing. Thank you for joining. Thank you for making intelligent commentary. You don't like my shitty integrated webcam? Okay. Mm. Mm, let's just try that. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I don't know, why can't it unify that? Maybe I can do it through rewrite? I should be able to apply it because it's just a false, right? Can I just apply infinite descent? What? Do I need parens? Did I forget my parens? Oh, okay, now it's unable to. All right, well, wait, what? Why didn't intro ZQ work there? Unfold not intro ZQ. Okay, now apply infinite descent. Um. Stupid. I don't know, what if I just say generalize infinite descent? Okay, that's something. So specialize square root two infinite descent. Uh, 
Why? It is a prop, isn't it? Oh, actually, wait. No, this isn't even right. Screw infinite descent will be used in the proof. What we just want to do here is I can just write like what's the inline function stuff for cock? Um PQ Nat P times P equals Q times Q times Q. What's the inline function syntax for cock? Oh, it says like this. Uh -huh, okay, this is something. This did something, okay. Specialize ID PQ. Oh. Apply EQ in ID. So, okay, um, uh -huh, cool. All right, now for some reason it got stupid like that, but um, I think I can just simple an EQ and get the same stupid. Good. Okay, apply EQ and ID. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um, apply EQ. Or wait. Oh, I have another sub goal. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Wait, no. This is not fine. Yes, okay. Now is when I want to apply. Yeah, now I want to do the thing I was doing here. Generalize square root to infinite descent. Maybe I just apply it. Q is not equal to zero. We can do that one with uh, apply Q and Z. And this I can just do simple apply EQ. Okay, cool. Okay, square root two is irrational as defined. No, I don't actually know homie up the, the hot stuff. Okay, so if we can just prove infinite descent now, we're good. Gotta know your infinite descent, guys. You know, Fama did that shit in the 1600s. I got it. Okay, let's prove infinite descent. Once we prove infinite descent, we'll prove that the square root of two is irrational. And then we can conclude this episode of The Cock Files. Should we get an X-Files soundboard? Let's get an X-Files soundboard.
Wait, what? No, I want like the creepy like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What? <laughs> Quality. All right. We tried our best. Order food. We could order food. Ooh, that'd be pretty good. Okay. You got to prove infinite descent, guys. It's well-founded induction. Mm. Well, so a few problems. So this is the R function. So first let's generalize well-founded induction. Okay, intros, yeah. Specialize H, the less than thing. LT nat. Um, which is expected to have type type. Understand. Oh, no, we have to put the type in. Nat cross nat. The term nat has type set. Nat, 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 prop. Term nat has type set. It's supposed to have type nat. I bet I don't even have to write that. I bet I can just write that. Or I was being stupid back there. Yeah, can I just write? Can I just write this? We're learning cock, guys. I'm not that good at it yet. Is that right? term nat has type set while well, it's expected to have type nat. Does anybody know what that means? I don't know what that means. Oh, hang on. It's expected to have type well-founded R. Uh, let's try that. Okay, cool.
Okay. Thank you for subscribing. Maybe Omega will work. Yeah, wouldn't you love that, right? No, Omega can't solve this system. Oh. Maybe Omega can solve this one? Oh, Omega's so useless. There's already some, like, less than stuff. So, actually, there's something sure we don't conflict with. No, we don't conflict with names. It's fine. Apply that. What is this? WF NAT. What do I have to import? Well, here we go. Well founded fixed points over pairs. Mm, nope, that doesn't seem like it makes any sense. Okay, if we can specify it in terms of LTOF. A goes to NAT. So, <coughs> this should be almost exactly what I want. Unfold LT NAT. What's the F here? So that's a variable. I don't understand. A type A goes to NAT. I mean, okay, so I could maybe just define this as like LTOF second. How could something have? Oh, type type. Uh huh. I should just try it second there. 
Even better. Okay. What? I got rid of that. Is it already? Yeah, so... What if I do this? Like, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the same thing. No, 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 that's not right. Definition like the definition of LTOF should be the same definition as this. I, I don't understand. Sir Genius, thank you for subscribing. Try this. stupid LTOF shit and just went back to this. Well, I'll just do it the other way. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that does matter. Does it? I don't know. I'm confused. Whatever. My point is, this is going to prove it well-founded. And then we can clean it up later. Yeah! Cool. Okay, we proved that less than is a well-founded relation. Now to prove this mess. I think I broke the proof, too. Did I? No, I didn't. Because I just really, I admitted the big one here. Okay. ZQ. Okay, so we want to define a function. Specialize fun P in nat cross nat. I'll well, say X. That actually just goes to F first x, second x. 
PNEQ, is that gonna work? F is used in hypothesis H. Can't specialize in what? Sure, I can. Pose P equals this function. Special. Oh, it's just specialized EQP. That's it. Okay, cool. Um, pose Z equals uh, p cross q. Is that how you do that? Is that? Okay, cool. Destruct eq. Now. Why do it with P and PP? What do you mean? Oh, but actually, yeah. So what we want to do even before we do any of this, let's uh, destruct H0 as PP. Destruct. H0 as uh, QQ H0. Pose Z equals P cross Q. And pose ZZ equals PP cross QQ. Okay, cool. Specialize that, introduce that. Specialize the function. Okay. If I just apply EQ, what does this do? It doesn't work. Oh, we can also just do one more destruct to zero here. So we get that. Okay, somehow we have to get this contradiction. I don't see it right now. Hmm. 
So what's the new function? The new function is p z. We need a better way to attack EQ right now. We need a better way than specialize. I'm upset that I can't apply it. I'd like to apply it. Can I destruct it? I'm able to find an instance for the variable A. So what's A supposed to be? Oh. Z. Unable to find an instance for the variable A. I still don't really know how we're getting this contradiction. Let's let's Google how infinite descent works. And maybe we can understand it a little bit better. Blah 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 blah. No, this is shitty. Yeah. No. A destruct with, can I? I don't even know what that means. It's not an inductive product. Turn the for all into a not there exists, right? That also implies that there not exists not. And then we can get to false. All right. Lemma. For all exists. For all x. Just try replace with not exists a in that cross nat such as not p a right. Oh, any q unfold not any q. Okay. Apply EQ. Aha! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We'll get to proving that second thing in a minute. But alright. Intros EQ2. Hmm. No, see, that's not what I want. I already have that. Well, no, that might be okay. No, 
Now we already have X and Y though. Let's prove the second one first, make sure I didn't like write something stupid. What if I actually don't want to destruct these? Well, okay. You know what? Before we try to make this more complicated, let's prove the simple infinite descent. The one that actually uses the cross. This one should just be a rather trivial application of the induction. And then we can figure out what the trick is to get the to get the contradiction, because I don't know it. Um, okay, so first intros. Now specialize. I don't even want to destruct. Hang on. What if we just intros the equation first? 
No, no, that doesn't work. I definitely don't have to destruct the, the exists. Okay, so somehow we have to set x equal to ppqq and y equal to pq. Hey, Dad. Streaming on Twitch. What was that? Streaming on Twitch. If you don't want to say hi to the Twitchies. Well, no, it's streaming. So there's the Twitchies. We see the Twitch when you the Twitch. We're streaming on Twitch. On Twitch. We're on Twitch. We got how many people we got? <laughs> Those people see me now. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, it's so I told you. Microphone. We got 118 people right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 118 people. We're trying to prove the square root of two is irrational. I thought you said it was easy. Well, it's easy in like words, but try to prove it in the oh. computer. Oh, okay. Oh no, the proof the, the proof in words is like two lines. But if you want to try to prove it formally. Twitchies, I'll be back. I'm gonna get food. It's just short though, it's close food. Hey, we stream on Twitch. Oh, yo. Spanish pie. Mm. Okay. Okay, I like the not there exists thing.
Oh. Spanish pie. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know how to prove infinite descent, guys. This is hard. Well, we're only trying to do infinite descent. We're, we're trying to do well-founded induction on this. But I'm not really sure what's going on. Like... Okay, well, this is better. Do I have to then generalize them again? Like, that's... Okay. These parentheses make this really hard to read. We have to do it in a different way. Okay. So the first thing we want to generalize is Fy. So if we're calling Y PVQQ, we want to generalize H is that. Then we want to generalize H1. Then we want to generalize PPQQ. Then we want to generalize H. No, that doesn't go there. Mm. 
We want to start with H. No. So we want to put that in parentheses. Which I don't have the first idea how to do. do this. This is cock. This is why you're watching the cock file. So hard. Try to do that. It's to F was not found. Intro is F. These parentheses are confusing to me. Well, I guess Glean is technically the name of the language. I don't know the trick here. Let's see if anyone's done this before. Okay, so first off, they don't write false here. So here, here's, here's something that they, they already wrote out. It doesn't imply false. You're not getting a contradiction. Okay, for all, yeah. For all PQ in nat cross nat, not f of pq 
I'm not sure we actually have to use PQ here. Okay. Let's use A, B, and C. That might be the trick. Okay, so they have exists. Oh, and they put the parentheses in a different place. FA implies exists. B implies for all C not. And they do a sum, they don't just do the second. Okay, cool. Well, we had our we had our thing a little wrong. I kind of reading that was really nice. They wrote very similar stuff to me. They have this no Ethereum thing that I don't quite understand. R no at oh, this is well found in deduction, okay. And then they have their P. So they're they're doing that pretty much the same as me. Are they sure they wrote this right? This actually doesn't look right. It looked more right before. F of A implies there exists a B. So the F B and the second of B is less than the second of A. Implies for all C implies false or that does not exist, same thing. Okay. Let's specialize EQC. What? They do end here, or do they do? They do end. They have this a limb thing, which I don't understand. I don't know what that does, and I don't know what red does. It's not like a question of debugging, you know? I wish I had more food. I expect to have that type. I don't know what that type means. A limb. It's unreadable garbage. And they do the nat cross nat thing. And then, I don't know, maybe they deal with it down here. I gotta fight jet lag anyway, guys. Something to do. Alright. The 
destruct eq with a colon equals c non inductive product. I might have the syntax of that wrong. Unable to find an instance for the variable a. So I want it to be c. Destruct as useless. How do I destruct with? Not an inductive product. I got that bullshit before. It's not with. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Destruct with binding list. Ref equals term. That's exactly what I did. It's not an inductive product. to have that. I don't know what that error means. X equals A. No such bound variable X. Other alternative is to figure out how to construct this initial term here. But again, we run into this problem where, oh, okay. Build a path, then destruct in the term. I don't know what that means. They like wrote it here. This Noah theory and just literally looks like induction. Where are they getting the contradiction from? Or where are they getting the for all not?
intros. Okay, they, they apply. They just do an intros, so whatever that does. That seems to introduce everything. Oh, they don't even unfold the knot? I guess... red. Oh, it's the same as unfold not. Intros. Okay. A limb H Z H1. I don't know what a limb is and I don't have a Z. Where do they get Z from? Expected to have type, oh. Term H1 has type FC, where it's expected to have type FA. We don't have something with type FA, do we? Oh, let's just guess. Is this right? <sighs> to use this different. Oh, no, I guess it's the same ish. They apply it, they don't specialize it. Here's their Z. Oh, they use Z as the first one. <coughs> I don't know what this limb thing they're using does. H. Expect it to have type FA. I just put FA. Has type of prop. Well, it's expected to have type FA. What? We do have to figure out, I think, how to apply H to... The only thing that makes sense is applying H to H0 somehow, right? Is to get this thing here to match up with this. This is all the before the, uh, the thing, but it hasn't exists. this do it?
generalize H, generalize A, apply H1. This might have to wait till part two of the stream. I thought this was... Uh, They don't use Z, they only use Z up here. They don't actually use Z here at all. This is actually the same A. So I don't know what that means. But it's a different A when you introduce it, so that's completely useless anyway. But okay, so that Z must be in the well-founded induction. It must be the X. What does this a limb tactic do? Reference X was not found in the current environment. Oh, okay, here's the other trick they're doing. Okay, all right, I see the other trick they're doing. You see it? When they specialize the well-founded induction, yeah, fun x equals not. You have to do it on the not. Oh, that's the trick. Oh, who understands? Yeah, boy. Oh, well, I still don't understand. All right, we're not, we're not, we're not done yet. But this is better than we've seen yet. Yeah, the trick. Okay, okay. So. The, the the problem is you you actually have to do the induction on it not existing, not on it existing. This is the whole trick. Because that's the last thing. So let's not unfold those knots. Let's just leave that and do the induction on not yeah, okay. Well, it's still not right, but this now matches this. Expected to have type FA. Okay, well, we're still left with that garbage, but. We do the induction on the knot. 
This isn't right. Okay, okay, now we got the apply to work. Boom! Yeah! Okay, okay, we making the progress! Yeah! All right, well. What are we trying to prove? Okay. Intros X. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do we see what we did there? We applied the induction. What's up? We're streaming on Twitch. So if you don't want to say hi to the Twitchies, don't come in. Okay. You can say hi to the Twitchies, though. Hi, Twitches. Is it a video? Yeah. Okay. It's live video streaming. All right. Okay, we're still getting that bullshit that I don't really understand. Let's type. Okay, I have an idea that we're supposed to somehow get this fx to apply to this hypothesis, and then we can destruct the hypothesis. I'm not sure how we do that yet, but maybe by just genericizing stuff. Yeah, somehow... Where does H come from?
see, it's bothering me that X and... We don't want to introduce a new one here. We, we really just want to use, um, we want to use A. Can we, can we use A? Is that how it works? I think this needs to be in parentheses. Okay. Now specialize, yup. H A. Oh no, that's not right. Wait, why did that get called A? Okay, see now it's X. You see now it's F of X and not F of X. Okay, so now let's unfold not. Intros A. Apply H to A. Or apply uh, A in H. Apply H in A. Let's just call it ha. Apply ha in H. Apply H in ha. There we go. Okay, all right. Now look, look at the simple shit we got. All right, we got simple shit. Woo! <sighs> Apply H zero H A. Is that right? Oh no, we just okay. Uh, destruct H A as H A and B as B and H A. No, 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 that's not right. Uh, that. Let's just drop H A. Good enough. B H A. Specialize H zero B. Okay, okay, okay. Unfold LT nat in H zero. Um, split H A. Destruct H A. Apply H zero and H two. Okay, and look now we have our contradiction. Woo, we did it. All of this stuff's garbage. Wow, that took way too long. Okay. Apply H1, apply H2. Um, okay, well. Apply H2, apply H1. QED. Okay. That's not even the real thing we wanted to define. It's close, though. It's close. We're really close. Thanks to a little help from this guy, mostly for just getting the type right. You know, most of these functional shits, you just see once you get the type right, you're doing pretty well. Okay, so now let's define the actual theorem that we want. Okay, so this is the type. For all for all f nat nat prop So the problem with what we just defined is it's defined on nat cross nat and we need to define it on nat nat. We're getting close though. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right, let's put a paren here because I messed up my parens last time. Implies there exists uh, PP and QQ in that such that F PP, QQ, and Q, 
Uh, sorry, QQ is less than Q. Implies for all. I don't know. I'm running out of number. I'm running out of things. R and S. In that, not F R S. All right, let's go. Intros F. Apply. Mm. All right, so that is the wrong type because it's actually fun X, Y, F, X, Y. Find a function with two variables, x comma y. Oh, it's just this actually. It's, it's not even. I'm not even sure how to define that, but I don't think I have to. I think that's actually what I want to say. Applied theorem doesn't have enough premises. No, infos intros F H. Okay. Well, that's more useful then. Um, intros rs. Uh, pose. This isn't bad now. Pose rs is rs, right? Uh, replace r with first rs. Replace S with second RS. Well, let's quickly prove these. Um, try reflexivity. Perfect. So that won't even create the second goal. It'll just try reflexivity on both goals. And that should trivially prove that. Okay, now we're here. Okay. So what did we have to do again? Simple intro, specialize HX. I don't think we actually needed that. Simple intros. Okay, so for all PQ and NAT, yeah. So, special, it's not going to work. Uh, H first X, second X. Intros in Q, apply in Q in H. Uh, what did I, I called it something else up top. Ha. Apply H in ha.
Okay. Um, destruct ha as pp ha. Destruct ha as qq ha. Destruct ha. Okay. Pose pqq as pp cross qq apply uh, sorry specialize h0 pqq yeah okay uh, unfold lt nat in h0 uh, yeah so that's the same Uh, replace QQ with second PPQQ in H2 try reflexivity apply H0 in H2 yep now we have our contradiction simple apply H1 okay all right we define this infinite descent. Let's save this. Now I did mess with the uh, the type a little bit. So let's see if this all still works. No, it fails here. Oh, there's wow. I thought I tried that. I don't know. Oh, I guess I didn't put in parentheses. Okay. Um, Oh, we have to say Q not equal to zero. So I don't know what I proved before, but even with my type cheating, it was still wrong. Um, I don't need to do that. Probably don't want to do those simples. I guess we do want to do simple. Okay, so we're gonna have to show we forgot something up here. We're gonna have to show that this implies QQ not equal to zero, like that. I'm not sure what that's gonna change. We don't need this anymore.
Okay, it seems like the only problem now is the fact that it's simplified. So maybe that just works? No, of course not. So like, look, it's so close now, except that's not good. That, MPP is less than QQ. That's so close, that's so close. Um, how do I do this? So I need to run simple on it. Yeah, okay. Extra parens here. And QQ. It's less than Q. Do those extra parens matter? Okay, so H comes from infinite descent, so I can just put parens around that, maybe? Parens, parens, parens. Did I really need parens here? Maybe. I think it should change anything, though. Okay, this is just stupid. Um, can't prove that. Parens there. I don't know what to do about that. I don't even understand how that's a different type. But it is. Mm, this doesn't go here. Yeah, no, we need the parens in the top one, I think. So, do you see the subtle distinction? It's whether there's parens around that, that thing or not.
They actually don't belong there. These make me prove. Yeah. I should have to prove that Q doesn't equal zero. That's true. Um, I have to prove that Q prime is not equal to zero. Thank you, Omega. do this instead. Try that. Uh, we changed it to ands instead of implies. It should mean kind of the same thing, but so then no, not there. When we're doing this, we just do an and here. better. I don't understand why it doesn't work. They look the same to me now. Uh, maybe I just did it backwards. Okay, there we go. Right now, it's not right. This is the premise for that, right? All the parentheses in the right place. Apply ID and H. I don't know. Unable to find an instance for the variables R and S. Shouldn't matter. Apply ID and H. What just happened? No. <laughs> Apply H and ID. Okay. Unable to apply lemma of type. 
which looks exactly like what's in the parentheses there. Are they identical or not? I don't know. These look the same to me. Oh, using git? Eh. It's not like this ever worked. I had some like serious bugs before that you just don't realize because you're cheating with your types. This looks to be exactly the premise of this. Okay. Let's just try asserting what I want. Okay, that worked. Specialize H zero PQ. Simplify in H zero. No. Unfold not in H zero. Not what I want to do. Well, now we kind of need De Morgan's law, you know. Split H0, no, destruct H0, close. You get real close, guys. You get real excited when you get this close. That's not what I want. Maybe it is. It's real exciting, guys. It's real exciting. Split. Apply Q and Z. Apply EQ. Oh, yeah. There's the proof. Complete proof that the square root of two is irrational. If you'd like to enjoy, I don't have a GitHub on this computer. Can I post on Guest anonymously? Nope, I can't post on Guest anonymously. So uh, I guess if you're gonna wanna copy this, you're gonna have to do it from the video. Oh yeah. So let's just check to make sure that the square root of two irrational actually says what we expect it to say. For all PQ and nat, Q not equal to zero. Well, let's put an and here. I don't know, you have to say implies. Implies is correct in the proof case. If, if Q is not equal to zero, because it's obviously trivial solutions, because the Q is in the denominator. Um, wait, what? We broke it? All right.
So that is now a true statement. If Q is not equal to zero, let's make sure that matches the actual square root of two irrational proof. Assume it can be expressed as P over Q. Of course, with Q not equal to zero. implies that they're not equal. Yeah. I can upload what through the web interface, guest? No, I can't because I don't have a GitHub account. That's too bad. All right, fine, we'll do, should we do a pay spin for you peoples? They have cock syntax highlighting. No, they don't. Okay, if anybody would like it, there's your paste bin right there. No, nah, I don't have any stuff on this computer. Just in case y y you didn't know, the square root of two actually is irrational. Uh, the program's not lying to you guys. Uh, could someone else post in the chat? You can all type it. Thank you for watching. The chat got much improved after we kicked out all the noobs. Um, the tolerance on this Twitch channel for noobish behavior is low. It's very low. People talk about zero tolerance, but you know, zero, zero is a, we're, you know, we're, we're zero is too, too little tolerance. We serve, we have epsilon tolerance on this channel. Epsilon, that's appropriate. And um, we have epsilon tolerance for bullshit. Uh, if you're a subscriber, we have a little bit more than Epsilon. Um, is zero irrational? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, no. No, zero is not irrational at all. There's actually tons of things that you can make be zero. You want to prove that zero is not irrational very quickly? We can do that. Now we're done. We're done. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. We did prove that the square root of 2 was irrational. And that is what we set out to do today. And we did it. Later, Twitchies.